As of today, you will likely be paying more for tomatoes at the supermarket and companies importing the product are noticing some delays. That's right. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo explains why tariffs are now being placed on Mexican tomatoes. Trucks coming in from across the border drop off produce all day long at the Central de Abastos in McAllen. But for importers like Carlos Ayala, today is also the day tomatoes will start costing more for the U.S. consumer. So far today, Ayala says his truck drivers are seeing problems. Today, Mexican tomatoes are now being slapped with nearly 18 percent in tariffs. This is due to the end of an agreement from the United States Commerce Department made between U.S. and Mexican tomato growers to not put tariffs on imported Mexican tomatoes. The concern for U.S. growers was having to compete with much cheaper Mexican product. About half or more of all tomato in the United States it comes from Mexico. South Texas college economist Teo Sepulveda says the original agreement from 1996 was to allow U.S. consumers to have more choice when buying tomatoes at the store. But recently, pressure from the Florida tomato industry has called for a suspension to this agreement. Today, Mexico's undersecretary for foreign trade told the Financial Times that the new 18 percent tariff was very disappointing, costing the Mexican tomato industry $350 million a year. In the end, the U.S. consumer will also pay the consequences. The price of tomatoes should rise somewhere between in impressively from 40 to 80 percent. The U.S. Commerce Department says it will continue to negotiate with farmers in the U.S. and Mexico. But meantime, you will probably be paying more for tomatoes next time you go to the supermarket. In McAllen, with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS 4 Valley Tonight.